live from the new sports betting capital of the world. You might be from Texas, but I'm from New Jersey. Benny Ricciardi is here to break down the day's betting board for you. Let's go, Go! Taking a first look at the day's bets, it's time for the FTN Betting Show. Welcome to the FTN BetsCast for Friday, April 29th here at FTN Bets and sponsored by our friends over at Sleeper HQ. Sleeper is the fastest growing fantasy platform today with millions of players. And now you could win on Sleeper by playing their new over-under game. It's very easy to play. First, in any sport, you choose two or more players that you like and you pick whether they're going to go over or under their listed total. For example, in basketball, be something like points, rebounds, assists, three-pointers, maybe steals, turnovers, things along those lines. In a sport like baseball, it could be hits or runs scored or even strikeouts for your pitcher. Once you choose, then you're going to pick an amount of money that you want to put into that contest. If you pick correctly, you can win anywhere from two times your money all the way up to 20 times your money if you pick five out of five correctly. The main reason, though, why I really like the over-under game on Sleeper is that it's the only app where you can join with your buddies and play together. It has a built-in group chat where you can see what all your friends are playing. So if I have one that I put in tonight, you guys would be able to see what I'm playing. If one of you guys put something in, I'll be able to see that. If we have one of the guys in our group that won four or five days in a row, we'll be able to see what he's putting in and we could all play along together. And that's where the fun really comes in. When all your friends pick the same stuff and you're all rooting for the same things together, you're all sweating the same games. You're all trying to get the same things to happen. So stop what you're doing right now. Get over to Sleeper and play in their new over-under game. You could use promo code FTNBETS, and they will match your first deposit up to $100, dollar for dollar, whatever you put in. So again, download Sleeper. You can go down to the description on this podcast right now. Click on that link. Use promo code FTN. Deposit your money and get ready to win. There are terms and conditions that apply, so make sure you see Sleeper's terms and conditions of use for any details before you go ahead and play. And if you are going to play, we only actually have one game tonight in the NBA. So not a lot of places for us to pick guys to play tonight. There is only one game that's going to be going on tonight. And that is between Memphis and Minnesota. So let's see, let's get some of the information on this game here. And then we can talk about it. Memphis is up in this series three to two. Uh, Let's see. They won by, they lost by 13 in the first game, won the second game by 28. Then they won by nine, lost by one, won by two. These two teams have played nine times during the regular season. It is 5-4 right now after Memphis won that game um, on a furious comeback when they were down, I think, as much as 20 at one point in that game. Um, But they did come back to win to take a 5-4 series lead on the season. During the regular season, the home teams were 4-0 when these two teams played. It hasn't really held up as well home court in the playoffs. So far, they're... Let's see, they're seven and two on the season now. So three and two in the playoffs for the home team, uh, which doesn't really bode all that well for Minnesota here tonight. Although the home teams have won seven of the nine games in the series this year. Let's see here. What else do we have here? Um, Totals in this game. So this is actually funny. If you look at the totals throughout the season for these two teams, they played four games in a regular season with totals 243, 233, 224, 235. They played five games so far in the playoffs, 247, 220. 199, which is the outlier game, 237 and 220. So if you take those nine totals and add them all together, you average them out, it comes out to 228 and a half. You look at the total on this game tonight, MGM has it at most, but most books actually have it at 228 and a half minus 110 to the over or the under, which is exactly what the average for the season is here. It's so tough for me to go one way or another here. I think five games that these two teams have played have gone over that number. Four games that they have played have gone under that number. Really, this is just a very, very good number. And when you have a very good number, there's not really any value on either side of this number here. Like I said, half the, basically half the time the games have gone over, half the time the games have gone under. The average of the nine games that they played this year is exactly what the number is here tonight. I mean, you can get an under 229 on win at minus 108, which is probably the best price if you're looking to play the under there. But again, is there any value on that? You know, if 228 and a half is the number that we're seeing, half the time it goes over, half the time it goes under. When we're betting, we want we want to find trends, right? Like we want to find, oh, when these teams played, the average was, I don't know, 250 points, or that's probably high for basketball, but let's say, you know, 220. 
oh, okay, well, the number today is 230, basically 229. We want to be under that number. You know, we want to find a place where it's like, oh, you know what? Seven of the nine games they played have gone under 229. We don't have that here today. So there really isn't any value in playing the total on this game here today. If you're looking to play a spread on this game, I don't really think we have a ton of value in that either. Because again, if we go over the numbers of what these games have been by, just look at this series. You know, in this series, Minnesota has won games by one point and 13 points. In this series, Memphis has won by two, by nine, and by 28. There's no rhyme or reason to those numbers. There's no pattern. There's no, you know, there's nothing that we could say, hey, this is the way that it should be. This is what I'm seeing from these numbers is showing me a trend in this direction or that direction. There really isn't anything there. And when you have something like that where there's nothing on either side, you know, you're basically just throwing a dart right now. And, and, and throwing darts is not the way that we like to, you know, make our wagers here. We want to know that we have some kind of value on it on, you know, either side of the game one way or another. And I just don't think we have that here. So anyway, if you do look at the spread here tonight, Memphis is favored by one. Um, Minnesota is a one point to one and a half point underdog at home. You can get them one and a plus one and a half on points bet. Caesars or Unibet if you want to play the other side of this game like I said Memphis you know minus one and a half is actually the number you're seeing more often DraftKings has it at minus one right here but whenever we have one of these minus one or plus one kind of spread games I always think if you're going to be betting on the underdog here you'd probably rather take the money line because you get a little bit of a better payout you're really only giving up one point yeah occasionally it comes back to bite you but it's very rare when that does happen so Minnesota, you can get at a plus 102 on FanDuel here today. If you're going to play Minnesota, that's probably where I'd play it. Memphis, though, I would take, you know, because Memphis, you're playing like 115, 120. I'd rather just lay the one point with Memphis here, maybe get a push, worst case scenario. Um, but if not, you know, you get the minus 110 there, which is a lot better than the minus 115s or minus 120s you're going to get when it's, uh, you know, it's a money line bet there. So if you're looking to play Memphis, DraftKings, minus one, minus 110, the best price. You're looking to play Minnesota, get over to FanDuel and just play the money line at plus 102. That's the way that I'm looking at it there. As for my lean in this game, I really don't have one. Like I said, the numbers have been kind of all over the place. You know, yes, Memphis won that last game by two, but honestly, Memphis had no, no business winning that game. Minnesota kind of gave it away to him. So, you know, again, nothing for me on that. So let's move on and talk about some of the uh, player prop numbers for, for today. One that I like a lot is going to be Desmond Bain over 21 and a half points. This is minus 106 on Sugar House, Unibet, and Bet Rivers. And you can get it at 21 and a half on the Sleeper app. And it's going to be one of my, it's going to be included in my Sleeper play of the day here. In the last three games, Desmond Bain's played over 35 minutes. But the more important thing to me is he's taken 19, 18, and 20 field goal attempts in those three games. 15, 12, and eight of those have been from three-point range. So if he's averaging about 12 three-point field goal attempts in the last three games here, that's a possible 36 points if he knocks them all down. Gives him about another eight field goals or so that he's taken there, which is like another 15, 16 points and another four or five free throws. So potentially Desmond Bain over the last three games has averaged the opportunity to score about 56 to 57 points. We only need him to get 22 here today. He scored 26, 34, and 25 in the last three games. So, you know, with that 50-plus point potential, if he made every shot, which, again, nobody makes every shot. I'm just saying the number of shots he's taken and the amount of points that each one is worth, the three-pointers, the free throws, the two-pointers, add up to well over 55 and in, in, in each of those games. And he's been able to score at least 25, giving you, you know, a little bit less than half of that as a return. So, again, if you're expecting Desmond Bain to continue to play 35 to 40 minutes like I am tonight, and continue to take 15 to 20 shots like I am tonight, then you're going to look at him as a guy who has the potential to score over 20 points because he's giving himself the opportunity to score 50 plus. He really only has to shoot around, you know, I would, I'm not even going to say 40% because most of those are threes. So he doesn't even really need to shoot close to 40% and he can still get over this 20 number here tonight. So the first one I like a lot here tonight is Desmond Bain over 21 and a half points. Another one that I'm looking at here um, is Carl Anthony Towns over 11 and a half rebounds. This is one that I'm not really playing on sleeper, but I am going to be looking to take advantage of it on the sports books. And the reason why I'm not playing it on sleeper is, you know, again, on sleeper, we want to get the things that we think are more than 50% likely to happen because that's where we're really getting a little bit of value on, on the sleeper over under game. This is a plus 108 for Carl Anthony Towns over on FanDuel to get over 11 and a half rebounds. This is one that I would rather just play on the sports books. 
13, 11, 5, 14, and 12 have been his rebounding total so far this series. That game where he had 11, he only played 28 minutes in that game. That was the blowout game. I think it was game two that turned into a, a laugher there. So he's done this in three or five games, probably should have been four or five if he played his normal minutes. If you take the number of rebounds he's had divided by the number of minutes that he's played, he's averaging about one rebound every three minutes. So if you think he's going to play 35 or more minutes tonight, which I do, he's played 40 minutes in two of these five games, 35 minutes again last game. That's going to put him right there at that 11 and a half, 12 rebound mark. So I think there's a good chance Carl Anthony Towns goes over it. But again, not the greatest thing to play over on a sleeper app. Would much rather play this on the sports books. Plus 108 at Fandle, best price you can get on that one. And then the third over under I'm looking at here today is one that I will play on a sleeper app. And that's going to be Jared Vanderbilt over seven and a half rebounds. So game one and game two, Vanderbilt only played nine and 19 minutes out there on the floor. Games three through five, he played 32, 35. And then I think he only had like 20 something minutes in the last game. But more importantly, he's had 13, eight and 10 rebounds in those three, those last three games that they played here. The reason why I really like this on the sleeper app and I'm not playing it on the sports books today the sports books have this up to minus 130 on Unibet as the best price. It's minus 140 on DraftKings. It's minus 140 on MGM. I think it's minus 130 or minus 135 at FanDuel as well. So this is one that's way more than 50% likely to happen. This is the kind of thing that you want to play over on the sleeper over under game. So for today, my sleeper over under play of the day is going to be Desmond Bain over 21 and a half points and Jared Vanderbilt over seven and a half rebounds. Remember, you go down into the description of this podcast, you click on the sleeper, you get into our sleeper group here, you use promo code FTN when you deposit, they will match your first deposit up to $100. So if you put $100 in, you will have $200 to play with. If you play in the contest with that $200, you put it on Vanderbilt and Bain to both go over those listed totals, it would pay off $600 at the end of the day. So you could then theoretically turn $100 into $600 today on the sleeper app, which would be a plus 500 return on this two player prop kind of, kind of contest here. If you did that same thing where you took two player props and tried to parlay them together on the sports book, you could get a return of like plus 300 plus $350. So you're basically doubling your return here by going over to the sleeper app. So get over to sleeper, use promo code FTN, put in a hundred dollars, and then go make yourself a plus 500 return today on Desmond Bain and Jared Vanderbilt. The last thing I want to talk about here in the NBA is going to be the series price. So the series price for this Memphis game, Memphis is minus 650 right now. Minnesota is sitting at plus 475. Minus 650 is an implied uh, percentage of winning of about 87%. So that's where the Minnesota, I'm sorry, that's where the Memphis Grizzlies are sitting right now to win this series and go on and play in the next round. Minnesota at plus 475 is roughly about a 17% chance to win. And if you're looking at getting these numbers, the easy way to do this, go over to ftnbets.com. Up in the top on the top bar on the top of the screen, you're going to see something that says tools. When you click on that tools kit right there, over on the right-hand side, you're going to see something that says odds calculator. The odds calculator converts percentages to odds and odds to percentages. So if you say, I think this guy has a 75% chance of doing something. You could go over there and see what the actual American odds that would translate into. So at 75%, it'd be minus 300. Or in the case that we're doing it here, you could look at what a team's odds are to win a series. If they're minus 300, again, that's going to translate into a 75% chance of that team winning the series. And then you can make your adjustments if you think that should be more or less. And then if you think it should be more, then you want to bet on it. If you think that number should be less and it's too high, that's when you usually want to look at the other side of that game or make sure that you're not putting any money on something. So we did also have, since we had three teams that were eliminated on Wednesday night, the numbers weren't up when I did this podcast at like 8 a.m., 9 a.m. on Thursday morning, but the numbers are up for those other series right now. So the last thing I want to do here before we end NBA for today is take a look at what the series prices for round two are going to be in some of those other matchups. The Boston Celtics knocked out the Brooklyn Nets in the first round. Milwaukee knocked off Chicago. Those two are going to meet in the second round in the 2-3 game in the East. Boston is a minus 210 favorite to win that series. That gives them about a 67% chance of being the team that comes out of that, um, you know, that matchup. Milwaukee is plus 175. That's only giving them about a 36% chance. 
Now, again, Chris Middleton, you know, being banged up is obviously something that's going to factor into this. You know, Milwaukee is still the champs. You still got to beat the champs if you want to be the champs. So plus 175, I don't think that's crazy, but I do think Boston does deserve to be the bigger favorite and probably will win this series. But if you're asking me where I want to bet, I would rather have money on Milwaukee at plus 175 than on Boston at minus 200, minus 210, which are the numbers we're seeing out there in the market right now. The other series in the East is going to be the Miami Heat taking on the Philadelphia 76ers. Miami knocking off Atlanta, Philly knocking off Toronto. Miami is minus 165 to win that series. Running it through the odds calculator, that's about a 62% chance for Miami to win. Philly plus 135, that's a 42.5% chance for them to win. Like I said, I, I like Philly in this series as well. I think the East is very even with all of these teams. So I'm really just looking for one of these two underdogs to win the series. They're both at plus money. So if either one of these underdogs does happen to come out of this series, you're going to wind up with a profit if you bet on both of them here. So I have a little bit of money on Milwaukee and a little bit of money on Philadelphia. Actually, a little bit more on Philadelphia than I put on Milwaukee. But like I said, I think those are the two teams where the value is. I would rather be on the underdogs in both of those series than play either one of those favorites at the price. Although I do think the favorites are the two teams that are likely to move on. Miami, we have to see what's up with the injury situation over there. You know, you had Jimmy Butler miss a game. You had Kyle Lowry miss some games. Like, you know, if those guys aren't 100%, th this is going to start getting tougher as they move on. You can knock off a, you know, probably overrated Hawks team in the first round, but you're not going to knock off some of the teams that are left here. You know, Boston, Milwaukee, Philadelphia, if you don't have your whole team here for Miami. So they are definitely going to have to hope those guys stay healthy. Otherwise, I don't see how they make a run. Now, we're still waiting on this game, the game today, to end before we can get a price on that other series here. But we do have the price on the Phoenix and Dallas series. That's the 1 4, the, yeah, the 1 4 matchup here. Phoenix is a minus 300 favorite in this series here. 75% chance to win at minus 300. Dallas is plus 230, giving them just a 30% chance to win. I don't want to bet on Dallas in this series. Like I said, I like the underdogs in the East. I'll take a little chance on the underdogs in the East there, but I do not want to take the underdog Dallas Mavericks in this series here. I thought they played very well against Utah, but I really want to see them do that to Phoenix because to me, Utah was a team all year that I, I felt like they were kind of like a, they were kind of like a paper tiger, right? Like they, they were a team that a lot of people expected to make a run for the championship this year. But the team that I watched play in that series against Dallas was not a team that should be making a run for a championship. So I give Dallas all the credit in the world. They won a couple of those games, even without Luka, and that was great. Luka came back, and they looked really well to close out the series. With that being said, though, Phoenix, to me, is a whole different level than Utah is at this point. Phoenix on both ends of the floor is better than Utah. Phoenix has you know, a little more depth, in my opinion. And I, and I know that might sound crazy because people always said Utah had good depth this year. But if you actually watch that Dallas series, the bench did not do much outside of Jordan Clarkson. There's nobody that they bring in off the bench on that team that really gives me it, that instills any fear or really gives me any like pause or makes me say, man, this is a deep team here. They basically went six deep and some of the guys in that top six were not performing very well. So again, I do not want to bet on Dallas. I know plus 230 is a big number. I'd much rather be on Milwaukee or on um, Philly who are plus 135 and plus 175 in the East. Again, if you bet on both of them, you only need one of those two to win to turn a profit. If they both win, hell, you make a really good profit. So that's the way that I'm looking at the series prices. So there you go. That's going to wrap it up for the NBA portion of the show here today. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back to talk some MMA action and a little bit of MLB best bets as well here on the FTN BetsCast, sponsored by Sleeper. Welcome back to the FTN Bets cast for Friday, April 29th here at FTN Bets. Not a massive day of other sports action going on. There are a lot of MLB games. I'll get into a couple of those MLB games that I like. But I think where a lot of the attention is going to be tonight is back on the NFL draft. You know, we had a very interesting first day. Me, as a Jets fan, had a very, very, very interesting first day as we got, hopefully, our cornerback for the future, our pass rusher for the future, and one of our wide receivers for the future in the first round of last night's draft. Big shout out to Joe Douglas. Really like what he did there with the Jets. Some of those moves were, you know, the remnants of some of the other moves that he's made, namely getting rid of guys like Jamal Adams and, and Sam Darnold, which, you know, again, as a Jet fan, was tough to see at the time. But 
when you see what the, the draft capital they turned it into and then what they actually turned those draft picks into at the end of the day, I do think the Jets are a much better team. And I, I finally, for the first time in my life, I'm 40 something years old at this point. For the first time in my life, I actually look at the Jets as a team that is moving in the right direction here. I haven't felt this way since Bill Parcells was the coach and, you know, back in the day when they were making that little run. So hopefully this can translate into something good. I don't want my kids to grow up as uh, the same kind of jaded Jets fans that I have turned into over the years. If you're looking to get any NFL draft information, these guys did a great job last night. Chris Meany and Josh Larkey hosted four hours of NFL draft coverage. They went over every draft pick. They went over the fantasy impact of every draft pick, something that you don't hear very often when you're watching some of the shows on the, you know, some of the big networks there. Larky did a great job of basically projecting out based on the draft picks, how things were going to change, who was going to be better, who was going to be put into a better situation. And, you know, Meany is one of the best hosts in the business right here. They were joined by all kinds of experts from FTN. Everybody, whenever their favorite team was coming up, wanted to come on and kind of talk about it, where they saw it coming, who they thought these teams were going to take, all kinds of things like that. It was a great show. And they're going to be doing it again tonight for rounds two and three. So definitely make sure you guys get over to the FTN YouTube channel. If you're looking for any NFL draft information, that is the place to check it all out. Shout outs to Meany and Larky. Great job last night. And I want to give a shout out to all the guys behind the scenes, you know, the guys that do our graphics, the guys that do the editing, the guys that do the production. It was just an awesome show last night. So definitely go check out the replay and make sure you're ready for that tonight. A couple of things I wanted to do here. I want to give some bets for my degenerates out there. Uh, my boy Mad Lab from over at the Mad Lab MMA had a nice uh, write up for us over at FTN this week for the Marlon Vera versus Rob Font uh, fight. Long story short, Mad Lab thinks this is one that's going to go the distance. He likes the over four and a half rounds. I took it on DraftKings to go the distance at minus 150. I thought that was a pretty good price after reading his, his write-up. You can get over to FDN Bets right now. You can read the MMA write-up as well, see what Mad Lab has, and get over to Mad Lab MMA as well. Use promo code FDN20. Save $20 off your first month with the Mad Lab MMA. Mad Lab's breakdowns are the best in the business. He gives you how a fighter can win, what a fighter's weaknesses are, what their past history is, you know, which direction they're moving, whether or not the UFC is trying to get this guy to a bigger fight, all kinds of stuff that you don't get anywhere else. Go check it out. Mad Lab MMA, great place to get all your MMA action. And there is UFC this weekend. Although I think the main event is actually, <coughs> excuse me. I think the big fight, the main event is actually next weekend. So this is one of the smaller cards. But with that said, there's still money to be made on the smaller cards. I am not the guy to help you make it. Mad Lab is. Go check out the Mad Lab MMA. I do have a couple guys on my staff here over at FTN Bets, though, that'll help you make some money in MLB here today. And there's a couple bets that they liked. I'm not going to go through the entire slate. There's a lot of games, and, you know, I don't want to, uh, to drag it out too long here. But I'm going to give you two of the best bets on the day, courtesy of Frank Brank, one of our expert MLB handicappers over at FTN Bets. The first one that I like here is the under 10 and a half on the Reds and Rockies game. You can get this at even money right now on multiple different books out there. So just do a little shopping or just click on the odds tab over on FTN bets and you can see exactly where it's uh, at plus 100. Click on it and go over there. And if you don't have an account, wherever it is at plus 100, again, you can sign up for the deposit bonuses over there, which is always a great way to get some added value and some extra money. Give yourself a chance, whether it's a risk free bet or a double of your deposit bonus. It's always good to have free money from the sports books. And remember, it's not going to be there forever. So take advantage of it now. Sign up for all those accounts. And also, it gives yourself a bunch of outs. Like I said, we do a lot of line shopping here every day. This is one of those games where we're line shopping. Minus 110, minus 115 is some of the you know, totals that you can find with the under on this. Or you could find the right price and get it at plus 100. I think FanDuel has it at plus 100 here today. The other bet that I like for MLB is one that Frank is on as well, and that's the Oakland Athletics at minus 130. I think that number should be at least 20 basis points higher. Frankie Montas has been a pretty good pitcher this year. ZRA sitting around three. He's been solid in his starts. He's a guy that I like. But more importantly, on the other side, Aaron Savali, he has been horrendous. He's got a nine-plus ERA early in the year here. If Montas could just pitch decently and get, give up you know, two or three runs through, I don't know, six innings or so, He's probably going to wind up with a win here because I think Savali is going to get knocked around, probably chased from this game early. And then you're going to get into a tired and beat up bullpen there. So 
I like the Oakland Athletics minus 130. I think that price is a little bit too low here. Um, let me double check. I think we might even be able to get that price at a better, a better number here. Uh, let's see if we can find a better number than minus 130 today. Nope, minus 130, the best number that's out there. A lot of the legal books have this at minus 140, minus 145. So minus 130, you can get that at Unibet right now, which is the best place to get it. Minus 130 on the Oakland Athletics. I, like I said, I think it should be above minus 150. So if you had to play at minus 140, I wouldn't hate that. But there isn't really a ton of value left there. There's a little bit of value there, but not a ton. And I would not chase it beyond the minus 140. So if you can't get it there, it's probably going to be going up throughout the day. So definitely make sure you get over and take that number here today. If you want to get all of the MLB action, all the stats, all the charts, all the graphs, the expert analysis, as well as all the picks on a daily basis, you can get over to FTN Bets right now. Use promo code Benny. You'll save 20% off on any package. It not only works on FTN Bets, it also works on FTN Daily and FTN Fantasy. If you're looking to get some fantasy information, again, with the draft going on right now, fantasy football season is going to be here before you realize it. The sun starts coming up July 4th, the fireworks go. And after that, we're pretty much in full hardcore NFL fantasy football season. And we got guys doing fantasy football work right now. Guys like Josh Larkey and Jeff Radcliffe putting up some great articles. The rest of the team over here supplementing a lot of the charts and graphs and analysis that they do as well. So again, promo code Benny not only works on FTN bets, it will also work on daily and fantasy if you're looking to get into some DFS action or some season-long fantasy football action. And that is going to wrap it up for the BetsCast here today for Friday, April 29th here at FTN Bets. Remember, get over and check out our sponsor, Sleeper HQ. Go down to the description. You can click on it. Promo code FTN gives you a $100 deposit, gives you a 100% deposit bonus up to $100. You can put in less than that if you want. But really, if you could afford $100, take advantage of the full deposit bonus. Get the free money as they're giving it to you. Because remember, the free money doesn't last forever. And with that, we're signing off. Thank you, guys. Another good week of the FTN Best Cast here. And good luck, everybody. Live from the new sports betting capital of the world. You might be from Texas, but I'm from New Jersey. <laughs> 